There's a clock on the wall and it's moving too slow It's got hours to kill and a lifetime to go And I'm holding my breath till I hear the last bell Then I'm coming out hard and I'm giving them hell I did get bullied quite a lot because I was always quite flamboyant and effeminine. Um, I came out at 14 um, and yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't really accepted because we're from a small town in the north of England. When I was 15, we started thinking about prom and I was just so jealous that all of these girls got to go in these amazing, fabulous ball gowns and I just had to go in a suit and me and mum were talking and that just didn't seem fair to us. So she was like, well, why don't you go to prom in a dress? He loves dresses, he loves dressing up. You can see why he's close to day, so flamboyant, <laughs> he has his own style, so why not? I was told I wasn't going to get in um, by the teachers because they'd heard um, of rumours going around the school and a parent had complained. And then, yeah, they said, if you turn up in drag, you're not going to get in. Then we just got a bit worried about my safety, so we just brainstormed a few ideas and I thought, film crew, nobody will want to beat me up if there's a film crew there. Um, so then I just Googled how to get a documentary made, so I wrote a film script of how I saw it going and sent it off to all these different production companies and then it was Firecracker Films who eventually got back. In a few weeks' time, I'm planning to tell everybody at my end of school prom. Of course, I'm worried. Some people might be really nasty about it, but I want everybody to know, at 16 years old, I want to be a drag queen. I just wanted to show up dressed the way I wanted to be dressed, so when I turned up, they were like, you're not getting in. Um, and then slowly, all of the people started to filter out of the prom and everyone was like, this is shocking, you have to let him in. And like, come on, please. And I just did not expect that reaction from like people who I've even been bullied by in the past um, and everyone just supporting me. And then eventually the teachers gave in and let me in. And where did the dress come from? We went into loads of shops everywhere, but mm. unfortunately they wouldn't allow him in to try dresses on yeah. because he was a boy. And none of them would allow him. Only one vintage clothes shop allowed him to try dresses on. In the hall of the North In the hall of the North East. <laughs> we tried Newcastle, Darlington, Middlesbrough, everywhere, and just not having it because he was a boy and they didn't want him putting a dress on. So he scrolled the internet and said, right, this is going to have to be it. What was it? So it was like a lacy black number, because I did originally, I was like, I'm going to do the cliche thing and go in a big princess ball gown. But then I was like, you know, know what? I'm going to be quite classic and simple yeah. and elegant. Just explain what drag is to you. I mean, what, why, why do you do it? Because it makes me feel fabulous. It empowers me to go out there and take the world. And that's how I feel on the inside. So when I'm in the full persona with the wig and everything, it's Fifi true, um, and she is a completely different person to me. Um, she does things that I would never dream of doing as Jamie. Um, but yeah, I do see them as completely separate people. It's like I see Fifi true was born when I went to prom. Um, and she's like my sister, really, I refer to her in the third oh. person. <laughs> and then like when I'm Fifi, I refer to Jamie as the third person. So how did this start? <laughs> so it was, um, it was about a year after, um, and then Jenny Popperwell, who directed the documentary, rang me up and was like, all oh, these people want to make a musical about you, is that okay? And I was like, yeah, of course, like, who, who wouldn't? I got the 